Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lance with Love to Hate back again with another preview video. And today I have for you Palm Laboratory from publisher Portal Dragon. Now this is Palm Laboratory, and the reason why I put emphasis on that first word, Palm, is because this is a spiritual successor to Palm Island, which maybe you are familiar with. This is a game that came out not too long ago, a few years back. And uh, what was really unique about this particular game is that you could hold all the cards in your palm, hence the name Palm Island and Palm Laboratory. And uh, the way you play this game, you hold the cards, you look at them, you make choices with them, you turn some of the cards, you flip them over, you keep cycling through these cards, and eventually you get to the end of it and you have a score. Hopefully you pass, hopefully you succeed, hopefully you don't fail, and uh, there are, there's a scale, and you can do so well in this game, get higher up on that scale kind of game with this one. Or at least that's how Palm Island was. Now Palm Laboratory definitely has a lot of similarities to to that. Obviously it has a different theme, a laboratory science fiction kind of theme. Uh, but let's go down to the table. I'll show you how this one works and then we'll come back and I'll share my thoughts on this game. All right, I have Palm Laboratory on the table. Let me show you about this solo only Palm game in which you're going to have all these cards and hold them in your hand like so. So with this game, you do have a bunch of cards. You have an instruction manual, and then you have the tin uh, can that holds it with this uh, clasp cover on the front of it like you see here. What I'm going to show you here with these cards, I'm going to point out what is similar and what's different from this game and Palm Island. So with Palm Island, you had some uh, cards that you had to have in a certain order and uh, you just held the cards in your hand like this and you cycled through the cards making choices about whether you were going to rotate or flip or turn around uh, the cards and then you were you would cycle through the cards and uh, after you got to the very last card then you had to flip it and turn it and that was the end of a round and you just kept doing this until you flipped and turned this card so many times and then the game was over you have extra cards here with Palm Laboratory. You've got some minion cards that uh, they are your minions and they're going to help you if you pay them. Then you have your uh, mission cards. And so there are three different mission cards. This introduces the new mission system that you see here at the bottom of the, of the case here. And so you've got your production missions, which are going to be kind of like your, uh, here you go, here's the production mission card. That's going to kind of be like your uh, easy uh, intro level to the game. And I say intro level easy, it's still pretty challenging. You, uh, we'll come back to what this card is here in just a second. You have your research goals, and then you have your air, uh, experiment goals. And so you're going to choose which mission you want to do, whether that be uh, research, uh, the experiment, or the production. But let's Let's just go with production because uh, it's less cards here. And then the last card in the deck is going to be your danger meter. And this is going to be like your bust card because as, as you go through this card, if you're not able to take care of business, you're going to have to turn this card and then flip it and then rotate it. And then if you get to this uh, with all the lights filled up, then that's when the game is going to be over for you and you bust and you lose. So you want to try to manage this. This is kind of like a survival game, making sure you have the resources for what you need to be able to keep this uh, managed. But then also this is going to be your win condition. This is going to be what you need in order to succeed. So there's kind of a balancing act here between these two cards. And uh, you want to be able to pay the resources for the production so that you can uh, meet the goal and succeed in the game. So let me show you how you do that, how this is going to work. So you're going to start with all of these cards in numerical order uh, with the icon in the top left corner, numbers 1 through 16. Then you're going to have your minions, 1, 2, and 3, behind those cards. Then you're going to have whatever mission you're playing. And again, we're doing the production mission here. And then you're going to have the danger meter. And you're going to hold all the cards in one hand, and uh, then you're ready to go. So... You have three choices on every card. You're going to take the top card and put it into your right hand, and you're going to be able to look at it, and you're going to be able to look at the card that's on top of the deck. And you're going to make a choice with one of the two cards that you see. 
If you take this action here, you can rotate it like so. And uh, in this case, it's free to do so. It doesn't cost me anything. And when that happens, I stick it at the back of the deck. And as you can see, there's a resource sticking out here. And now I have a resource to work with. And if there is something that uh, asks for that resource, such as this potion workshop here, it takes either one brain, one cog, or one uh, flask, and I have one cog, I can spin that cog to be able to do this action. And this is uh, one of the other three actions that you could do. This particular one is going to have me to turn the card over to this side, which is typically a better side because on this side I didn't have any resources, so there wasn't even an option to turn this card out to use as a resource for me. Um, if I had two brains, I could turn the card that way, which is the third option, this U-turn, uh, this yellow U-turn. You get to flip the card around like such and now there is this flask option for me but uh, this flipping the card over is generally the best action because it's going to give you the better side of the card with more resources to be able to use and usually it's it's a better way to get to those resources so having that now I've got one of all three different resources to work with and anyhow you're gonna keep doing this and at the max you can have four resource cards tucked sideways here and uh, obviously these cards are gonna cycle through and you're going to be making choices, spending resources, and as you spend them, you're going to just push them upright like such. Um, but ultimately, what you don't want to have happen is one of these resource cards to get to the front of the deck, because if that ever happens, then you just lost the resource. Um, so you want to spend the resources before they get to the top of the deck. And you're going to be keeping uh, track as you keep going through this, making choices, flipping and rotating cards. But ultimately, you're going to get to these minions at the end of the deck. And what you're going to do with the minions, if you want to, this is optional, you don't have to do anything with these minions, but you can spend resources to do the actions on the minions and they, they're going to help you. They're going to give you better resources. They're going to help you to save time um, going down on that danger meter, which is really nice. Uh, again, you can flip them over just like you would the other ones, but when you flip over the minions, then uh, they give you that uh, ability here and it's kind of like that's all they give you. They're done. They're not going to give you anything more. Um, so you want to manage these wisely because they do have a shelf life. You can't just keep using and using them and using them. They can only give you so much before they max out. And so you got to be smart about how you use your minions. But then you get to this production goal card and uh, you either have to fulfill what is on the card or you must spend plus one time. And what that means is, is you got to go to the danger meter and you're going to go up on the danger meter meter so that's not a good thing you want to try to achieve what is on this card uh, before you bust on this card so again this is like a balancing act but those uh, as you saw those minions if you max them out or if you get close to maxing them out they can help you to go back down on that danger meter so all is not lost if you go up on this there are ways to bring it back down you just have to manage this wisely. And that's pretty much what you have here with this game. Now, obviously, the game experience is going to be different depending upon what mission you do. Uh, as I showed you, you had that production mission. You've got the research mission, which is obviously going to have more cards involved into it. And then the experiment mission is going to have even more cards. So that's going to be a longer uh, more strenuous, let's say. You're going to have to do a lot more strategizing with these other two missions as they introduce more cards into the game. Uh, and it, it may be more fun, too. Um, you know, you might like that. You like that uh, brain burning experience with having more to think about. So you definitely have that here with this. So there you have it. That's what you got here with Palm Laboratory. Let's go back up top where I'll share my thoughts on this one. All right, so we're back, and now I'm going to talk about Palm Laboratory and tell you what I think about this one. So first, let's start by telling you how I feel about Palm Island. Obviously, I own it. Uh, this is a game that I enjoy. It's quite fun. It's uh, a game that you can play solo. You can also play it two-player, where each person has their own deck. And uh, I like that aspect of the game. I like that it is a, it's a unique kind of game in which you hold in your hand and you make these simple choices of whether I'm gonna turn the card to use it as a resource and, and hopefully I use it as a resource. Hopefully it doesn't get back to the top of the deck and then I have wasted that opportunity or I flip it over or I turn it upside down, you know, something along those lines. But ultimately I'm trying to pick and choose wisely when I use resources or when I turn the card, you know, that sort of idea with the game. And it was a, it was a lot of fun. Now, 
talking about Palm Laboratory here, you have lots of similarities between the two games. If, you, if you're familiar with Palm Island, then this is gonna feel very familiar to you. It's gonna feel right at home. But this does have some uniqueness to it. Definitely has some uh, cleverness that has been twisted into the game a little bit. And so you're gonna experience a new fresh take on that mechanic. And uh, it, I, I enjoy it. I like the twists to it. It definitely gives me a little bit more to consider as I'm cycling through the deck. And it's not such a game in which I, uh, you know, Palm Island was kind of this game, it was preset. You know, you only had so many rounds and you had to make those choices within those rounds. This is a little bit different because you can kind of go up and down in the game uh, as in terms of like how close you are to getting finished. And, and you want to try to prolong this. As a, this is kind of like a survival game in a way because you want to try to go as long as you possibly can without getting depleted and without hitting the, the, the bust point in the game, if you will. And so I like that aspect with it. It kind of gives you a different aspect as you go into playing the game. You, de you have a different mindset because it's not just this, well, I've got so many turns to figure out how I'm going to do well like you did in Palm Island. This is more along the lines of if I can if I can find kind of a groove, then I can prolong this a little bit. And hopefully I keep making little strides here and there to make this longer and longer and longer and better and better and better for myself. But then if you make maybe one or two mistakes along the way, you can find yourself taking a step backwards and getting closer to that bust point. And so I like that give and take that you experience with, with this uh, Palm Laboratory. It's definitely a different experience with that. Now, if you're not familiar with Palm Island at all, maybe you never heard of it, and this is the first time you're kind of hearing about this kind of game, I think this is gonna be really uh, blow your mind kind of, kind of gaming experience with this, this whole concept of being able to hold this deck of cards in your hand and make these simple choices cycling through the cards. And it, and it might affect you the way that it affected me when I first played Palm Island. It was like, just, wow, this is like a really full game experience just with a deck of cards I'm holding in my palm. Just a really kind of cool experience with that. So if you're not familiar with this Palm gaming system, try out Palm uh, Laboratory and, and, you know, see just what that's all about because it also gives you that extra twist that I've already talked about. So I think this, there's a lot to really like about this game. Plus you throw in the fact that it's coming in this uh, tin can here. Um, you know, you did have the wallet system with Palm Island. Uh, where you could put the cards in this wallet, which is really nice, and it's it's clever too, and I like the portability with that. Um, but I also like the tin can that you get here with Palm Laboratory, so that's really cool with it. It's, uh, you know, got this uh, clasp lid on the top of it like that, and, you know, you're just going to keep all the cards in the tin can. So I, I really like that. So, guys, I think this is a, a real solid game here, 15-minute solo-only solo game. Um, Palm Island, you could do one or two players, but Palm Laboratory, it's going to be some strictly solo. So that's a different change with the two games there. But otherwise, a lot of similarities, but enough twists to make this something that you should keep on your radar, especially if you really do lock, like Palm Island and you like that whole gaming system with it. So the game is Palm Laboratory. It's from Portal Dragon. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Palm Laboratory, what you think about Palm Island and Portal Dragons. If you like this video, please, please, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified of all of our great new content. I'm Lance, and this is Love to Hate, where we try to help gamers find great games to play with non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.